Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. When we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them in today, we got another, uh, we're continuing this story here on John Morant. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. Um, as you know, when that story first came out, we did a live and I absolutely went off. The reason I went off <clears throat> and some people are like, why were you so emotional? I was fired up because I was upset. I was upset at the situation and I could not believe that Ja found himself, you know, um, back in a situation like that. I just couldn't believe it. And I think that was a sentiment of many individuals uh, out there. Now, after the story broke, <clears throat> various people in media began to kind of weigh in on the topic, various uh, prominent voices. And one of those voices was Stephen A. Smith, but he kind of did that in the moment. But I had a hunch that when he had an opportunity to go on his own show, where he could just sit down and talk about it for maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, he would really be able to tear into the, you know, tear into that story and kind of give his take on that. And that's exactly what happened. Um, because today I was listening to a bit of his yeah, excuse me. I was listening to a bit of his show today, um, the Stephen A. Smith uh, podcast, um, it was, it was, and it was a pretty, pretty uh, interesting segment there. Yeah, Stephen A. Smith, No Mercy, excuse me, that's the name of the show, the the podcast. And he dedicated, essentially, <clears throat> an entire show to the John Morant um, story. And the reason I, you know, I, I made it my business to watch this was because I know Stephen A. Smith is an insider. Obviously, he's he's been around the NBA for let's say two plus close to three decades now he has a lot of relationships he knows a lot of per people he's broken a lot of stories i believe he even broke the story uh of the time when lebron james ultimately made his decision to go play uh for the miami heat so as i was listening to it <clears throat> it got to a part where he began to basically give some pertinent information to the john morant uh situation where he basically sent john morant a serious warning um, of the potential punishment uh, that that most likely is coming his way. And I thought that what he gave was a very detailed kind of uh, outline of some of the things we may expect John Morant may be facing from the league. So what I want to do, what we want to do is we want to play his comments for you now. We want you guys to take a listen to it in its entirety, and then we're going to come back and react to what Stephen A. Smith had to say. So take a listen to that there. But I don't want to hear anything at this point about his daddy. I don't want to hear anything at this point about his friends. I don't want to hear anything about this point about the Memphis Grizzlies or any kind of enablers or whatever. You're 23 years old. If you committed a crime and harmed somebody, they try your ass as an adult. This is what it is. Stop making excuses. Everybody want to sit out there, and this is how we enable people, because we want to sit up there and say, you got folks on out there, God, do your thing, do your thing, bro. Live your life. Really? Really? Where that going to get him? Where's that going to get him? What kind of advice is that to get? It's counterproductive. And it's stupid. And not only might it cost him his career. If he keeps on this path, it might cost him his life. You see, some of us are from the streets. We don't look it. We don't act it. We didn't get in trouble and all of this other stuff. But we from that cloth. We know people. I know plenty of dudes that are dead. I know plenty of dudes that serve in time. I know plenty of dudes who've murdered, who've robbed, who dealt drugs. You don't hear me speak too much against that stuff because they saved my life. They played the role just as much as my family did, they did. Because they kept me off the streets. Because they knew I wasn't about that life. And if there's one thing they taught me years ago, there is nothing real, true, hardcore street dudes detest more than somebody who ain't made from that cloth that's trying to act like they are. Especially when you don't have to be that way. Because you done made it. They're willing to accept the consequences of their actions and deal with whatever it is because they made their choices. But they have no respect for cats who have made it and don't have to live that way and are stupid enough to try anyway. They have no respect for people like that. 
and neither should most of us. John Moran got to get his act together. His career is on the line because I'm telling you something right now. You remember, this is your boy Stephen A. talking to you. I've been covering the NBA for almost 30 years. I'm telling you, I ain't asking you. Suspension's coming, and it's going to be steep. Could be 25 games. Could be half the season. I got people calling for the entire season. So you heard what Stephen A. Smith had to say. That, uh, you know, um, for sure, John Moran is going to be suspended. Some people are saying for 20 games. Some people are saying for half a season. And others are saying for an entire season. Now, I don't have any um, sentiment sentiments in terms of how many games he should be suspended because that's not my business. It's not for me to say that. Uh, that's something for the league to decide upon. And then it's me. It's incumbent upon me to react to what the league, um, the punishment that the league, the league uh, le levies out. But it's not my position to say, hey, I think he should because it's not my place. Well, why would my opinion on something like that even matter? And why would I put my opinion out there? Now, some people may do it. And that, that's their prerogative. I'm just saying that <clears throat> that's not something that I want to do. However, I want to react to what he had to say. Because it was an important part there where he said that being suspended without pay. John Moran, I believe, has a 250, no, $230 million deal about to kick in next season. And usually these guys sign these type of contracts over a five-year period. So let's say next year he's supposed to earn, let me say, let's say $30 million, right, to get it to get started. Or $35 million, Let's say $35, $37 million to get it cracking, to get it started. Well, if you miss half the season, cut your money in half. If you miss the entire season, well... You just lost. Well, you count. How many millions did you, did, did you just lose? Because these guys, I believe, are supposed to be paying you for games. But if they suspend you without pay, it's not like I said they're going to keep your money later on for you and then say, hey, we'll pay you in year six. No, that money's gone. And I think that's the reason so many people upset. <clears throat> Who jeopardizes tens of millions of dollars to show that, hey, I am a certain way and I live a certain type of lifestyle? And this is the reason why I said that uh, the people that were saying, oh, John's in the right. So let me ask y'all a question for the people that felt that John Moran was in the right. Y'all going to reimburse him that 30 M that 30 million. Are you guys going to reimburse him that 30 million? So basically you want John Moran to take a stance for something you support at his own financial expense. That's human beings for you. All they're doing. These people are just talking. They're going to talk, 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 because it's not their money on the line. It's somebody else's money. Hey, take that stand. Hey, do that. But but like but but this is affected me. But you do it. No, you don't need to listen to these people. Anybody advising John Morant to do things that would jeopardize his potential earnings is a fool. Why would you do something like that? So when these people are out there just saying all of these things, I realize and I said this that these people are just talking because they have mouths. God gave you a mouth, so you're using it. And unfortunately, He also gave us ears, and we're hearing it. Some of the things, or fortunately rather, and we're hearing some of the things that you guys you guys have to say. This, apart from the fact that it's going to hurt him financially, is also going to hurt his reputation. And your reputation really is all you have, especially when you're trying to garner deals. When you're looking to sign with other teams in the future, all you have is really your reputation. And teams will pass on guys that even have good numbers, but, but they believe they're toxic. They believe that they're just, they believe that these guys are potential distraction. Why would you want to put yourself in that boat? Why would you want to do that? So to me, man, I think, well, I don't know. Because yesterday I was listening to a segment on Speak and they had Emmanuel Acho, who obviously does an excellent job. It was Emmanuel Acho, Katino Mobley. Oh my God, I forgot the, the lady's name. I think it's Joy Taylor. I hope I got it right. I hope I got it right. And Rick Buecher. And everybody gave their piece. And I think Joe was like, um, I believe he's learned his No, I believe he understands what he could lose. And Rick Buecher goes, but does he really? He goes, but does he really? And what he was saying is, how could he understand it when he hasn't lost anything? What has John lost in all of this? Nothing. He got a slap on the wrist by the NBA and his team. And he was right back to business as usual. So what has he lost? John needs to be very careful. Now, John doesn't have to take my opinion. To have to take me, he don't know me from a from from a, a, a bag of bricks, or whatever, a bucket of uh, water. But this is serious business now. 
This is career altering business. And I think it needs to be taken very seriously. So what I want to know from you guys is what do you think about Stephen A. Smith's report? What do you think about some of the things I had to say? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.